Hi there, so in this video we're going to take a look at trigonometric function in MATLAB. So when you open MATLAB, simply click on a new script and here we are going to take a look at some of the trigonometric function. Let me arrange this properly, okay? And then let me just save this file with name, let's say, sample.m, okay? Now here, when we are checking, let's say, sign off any argument, then we have option to choose from radian and degrees. So for radian, we use simple sign, S-I-N, and in case of degree, we use sign D, okay? So let's take a look at that. Let's first create one value for X. So from minus pi, to point not one up to pi okay and after that let's see I'm gonna use plot and then give value to sign of X and close it. okay and finally I can also put greed on and I'll run this okay and let me change the path and should create my plot here and you have here okay so this is my sign in a radius so the, this plot goes to show you how your sign value appears in radians okay similarly we can use sine of d okay in degrees 180 and run that to see how it works Okay, and it goes to show you 180. Okay, that means it is working properly. Similarly, for cos, we can do the same. We can use minus pi to point not one to pi, and then simply plot our cos value. Okay, and this should be in radian, so do note that. Okay, now run this and you have your cosine value in radian. Similarly, for cosine in degrees, we use cos t and simply call for let's say 90 and run it and you have zero. Okay, so cos 90 and sine 180. Okay, so you get the idea how it works. Okay, in case of tan, we simply have to our formula and let's see minus pi by 2 plus point not 1 to point not 1 to pi pi by 2 minus point not 1 okay and next thing we use lot and then x tan x okay and after that let me just close this okay and finally let's just use grid on and run this and you get your tangent of argument in radians okay so this plot goes to show your tangent in a radian okay for in degrees have to simply use tan d and then 90 okay simply run this and you get infinity so tan 90 is infinity due to sine by cos gives you that value okay so let's go on for cotangent so cotangent of argument in a radian we will take with two values let's say x1 which is from minus pi plus point not one into point not one let's say minus point not one and for x2 we have point not one to point not one to pi minus point not one okay 
then you have your plot x1 and for cot I'm gonna pass x1 and then x2 and then I'm gonna point to cot of x2 again okay so I'm trying to plot this cotangent value into a plot and after that I will simply use grids for better accuracy okay and you get your values for these two cotangent values okay then you have cotangent in degrees for that let's just use one complex number let's say I have x equals to 35 plus 5i which is imaginary and then y equals to let's say cot d of x okay and now we will simply output y okay so let's run this and bottom side of my command window you can see the value for my y is 1.39 minus 0.2 okay so you get the idea of how some of the trigonometric functions in MATLAB works we have checked sine then sine in degrees then cos cos in degrees then and then in degrees okay same with cot and cot in degrees okay so just make sure that you know which method you are calling for for example for cot it will be cot and for degree it will be cot d same for sine cos tan methods